Traders, welcome back ulit sa aming YouTube channel. I'm Hobby Ter Ayan and for today's video, we will be going to discuss with this extra math challenge which is under mga kabiters sa grade 9, quarter 4, module 4, angle of elevation. So one of the application mga kabiters sa trig function or trigonometric function is solving problem involving um, angle of elevation. So, ano ba itong angle of elevation, mga kahabiters? So, like for example, mga kahabiters, meron tayong building dito. Ito, mga kahabiters. This is our building. And angle of elevation, mga kahabiters, is formed through horizontal line. Ito, mga kahabiters, horizontal line. At saka, yung line of sight natin. And this angle, mga kahabiters, is what we call the angle of elevation. And as you've noticed, mga kahabiters, may na-form tayo dito na trig triangle, which is mga apply natin dito yung trig functions or the sine, cosine, tangent, and its reciprocal. So, yun yung angle of elevation, mga kahabiters. Proceed na tayo dito sa given problem. So, sa number one, mga kahabiters, a ladder leans against a 6M high wall and reaches the top. If the ladder inclined with the ground at an angle of 60 degrees, how far is the foot ladder from the wall? So let's illustrate this given problem mga kahabiters. Meron daw tayong uh, ladder mga kahabiters na nag against a wall. So if, uh, like for example, ito yung wall natin mga kahabiters. Tapos, meron dong ladder na nag sa wall. Again, sa wall, which is ito. Like, for example, this is our ladder. And yung measure ng, ng wall natin is 6 meters high. So, dito yung mga cabiters, which is our wall, 6M. Then, if the ladder inclined with the ground at an angle of 60 degrees, so, ito mga cabiters, ladder at saka ground, may 60 degrees na angle of elevation. And how far is the foot ladder from the wall? So, ito mga kahabiters, foot ng ladder, since ito yung ladder natin, ito yung foot niya. So, how far mga kahabiters, ito mga kahabiters, how far is the foot ladder from the wall? So, ito yung X natin. Then, sa nakikita nyo mga kahabiters, given yung angle of elevation natin, meron tayo dyan, yung um, opposite ng angle natin which is 6M at saka yung adjacent. So ano yung dapat natin gamitin na trig functions upang makita natin o makuha natin yung value ng X. So tama mga kahabiters. Ang gagamitin natin is yung tangent. Dahil ang tangent mga kahabiters or tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Then let's substitute ng mga kahabiters na given values dito sa formula natin. So, yung tangent theta natin, which is itong 60 degrees, tan 60 degrees is equal to um, opposite mga kahabiters, opposite ng 60 degrees is the 6, 6 meters, all over sa adjacent ng, ng degrees natin na x. So, yun. Let's, um, base ako ano mga kapiters, base sa, uh, anong tawag nito, unit circle, yung tan 60 degrees ay square root of 3. Tapos, in decimal form, yung square root of 3 mga kapiters ay meron tayong square root of 3, meron tayong value na 1 point, ito mga kapiters, 1.732 at saka 1 is equal dito sa 6 over x. Then, simply do cross multiply mga kahabiters. So, meron tayo dito um, 1.7321 x is equal to 6. Then, i-divide natin both side mga kahabiters sa 1.7321 upang si x na lang yung matira. So, meron tayong x is equal to 6 over 1.7321. So, let's solve this mga kahabiters. 
to 6 divided by 1.7321 is equal to, so ito yung mga kabiters, x is equal to 3.46, 46 meters. So this is our final answer mga kabiters in this given problem. So, yun mga kahabiters, let's proceed na sa number 2. So, sa number 2 naman mga kahabiters, a string of a kite is 100M long and it makes of an angle of 30 degrees with a horizontal. Find the height of a kite if there is no slot in the string. So, meron tayong kite mga kahabiters. So, like for example, nandito yung kite natin. Ito, kite. So, a string of a kite daw mga kahabiters, ito, string ng kite, is 100M long. So, 100 meters. And it makes an angle of 30 degrees ito. So, 30 degrees ito mga kahabiters, the angle of elevation. With the horizontal. Find the height of a kite if there is no slot in the string. So, ito yung hahanapin natin mga kahabiters, which is ang x. So, now, mag-identify tayo mga kahabiters ng mga trigonometric functions na maaari natin gamitin dito. So, tama mga kahabiters, which is yung sine. Sine theta. Because sine theta mga kahabiters is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Why? Bakit ito yung ginamit natin mga kahabiter? Since given kasi yung opposite, ito mga kahabiter, itong x at saka hypotenuse na 100 meters. So yun, let's substitute the given values mga kahabiters sa ating formula or the sine theta. So si sine theta mga kahabiters or sine 30 degrees is equal to the opposite ng sine 30, which 30 degrees, which is x over hypotenuse niya na 100. Then, sa sine 30 mga kahabiters, based sa unit circle, ang sine 30 natin is 1 half, or in decimal form, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So, ito mga kahabiters, 0 0.5 is equal to x over 100. So, yun mga kahabiters, let's do um, cross-multiply. So, 0.5, ito, 0 0.5, i-multiply natin sa 100, is equal to x. So, meron tayo mga kahabiters, proceed mga kahabiters in this number 3 po. So, number 3, Grace wants to measure the height of a tree. She walks exactly 125 feet away from the foot of the tree and looks back at the top of the tree. She finds that the angle of elevation of the top of the tree is 33 degrees. How tall is the tree? So, let's illustrate mga kahabiters this given problem. So, meron daw tayong tree mga kahabiters. Like, for example, ito yung tree natin. Then, Grace walks exactly 125 feet away from the, from the foot of the tree. So, nag-walk si Grace mga kahabiters. Ito, exactly 125 feet. Then, and looks back at the top of the tree. So, ito mga kahabiters, the line of sight niya mga kahabiters. So, ito, angle of elevation of the top of the tree is 33 degrees. Ito. So, now mga kahabiters, how tall is the tree? Since ito yung tree natin mga kahabiters, so how tall is the tree? So ito yung x natin. Then, then, um, ito mga kahabiters, uh, let's identify trig functions na maaari natin gamitin dito. Since meron tayong di, um, given angle of elevation dito, meron din tayong opposite at saka adjacent, so ang gagamitin natin is yung tangent theta, or tangent. So, meron tayong tangent, theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Then, let's substitute mga kahabiters the given values. So, meron tayong tangent 33, 
33 degrees dito is equal to opposite natin, opposite ng 33 degrees which is x over yung adjacent ng 33 degrees which is 125. Then sa tan 33 mga cohabitors, based sa unit circle, since itong tan 33 degrees or 33 degrees is not uh, special angle, gagamit tayo ng calculator para makuha yung value. So, tan 33 mga cohabitors, tan at saka yung 33 degrees is equal mga cohabitors to point to 0, 0 0.6494 is equal to x over 125. Then, simply do cross multiply mga cohabitors, meron tayo ditong 0 point ito, 0 point 0.6494 i-multiply natin sa 125 is equal to x natin. So, yun ba tayong um, x dito mga cohabitors na equals to 0 point 0.6494 i-multiply natin in one, sa 125. So, meron tayong um, 0.6494 multiply natin sa 125. So, meron tayong 81.175 na x or 81.175 feet mga kahabiters. So, ito yung final answer natin in this given problem. So, I hope mga kahabiters na marami kayong natutunan. If meron din kayong mga clarification and question, don't hesitate to comment down below. Babay mga kahabiters, salamat!